Christina Rosakos here from ProfitableDaycare.com. I am a daycare business mentor and strategist. I love helping people start their own businesses and I also enjoy helping um, existing business owners automate and systemize their daycares so that they can free up more of their time. Uh, so whether you're in your daycare business or you're not, things are still moving forward. So today we are going to talk about something that we all face as daycare business owners, and that is how to deal with um, absences, requests for day off from your staff. Um, you know, obviously you want your staff to feel valued and you want them to feel professional and you want them to feel um, like you care about them. So we all have things happen in our lives and obviously we need to ask for, you know, days off. People get sick maybe if they're married or maybe if they have kids, uh, people need to have a day off once in a while and as a business owner what can you do to um you know put in place like protocols and systems so that you're not stuck with you know a not knowing who's in or who's out and b uh, not having anyone to work that day in the classroom so we're going to talk about how you can um how you can deal with employees asking for day offs, what kind of things you can do for yourself in the business to stay on track with all of that. So in today's training, we're talking about employees and absences. So whether that's due to a sickness, maybe their child is sick, maybe they need a personal day, um, maybe they have an event planned. How do you deal, how do you stay organized when your staff needs a day off? Um, we're going to discuss systems, we could, we're going to discuss the request forms and why these are all important for you to run a smooth and successful daycare business. So when it comes to um, employees and days off, you need to have some kind of system in place uh, to make sure that you're not stuck uh, not having anyone working right that day in the classroom. So before you do anything, before you do anything, you need to have procedures in place in your staff, employee, handbook, procedure booklet, whatever you call it. It's basically a booklet that you give every single employee that enters your daycare that is um, you know, employed by you, your business, uh, and that lets them know exactly what they need to do in case they need a day off. So um, day offs can be for any reason, really. Um, it doesn't really matter. You need, still need to have procedures in place. Now, before you write up your policy, it's very important that you reach out to your state laws or your labor standards and laws just to make sure that you know the law, you know exactly what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. You don't want to get in trouble with anyone. Um, so make sure you know exactly what the laws are and what you need to respect as a business owner. After you've done your homework and you know all the laws and you know exactly what you can and cannot do, um, it's time to write your policy booklet. Now, um, what I would include, what I teach my students to include in their policy booklet is a real, really detailed step-by-step -step system on what happens when and if someone needs a day off. Um, so you're going to talk about what happens when you need a personal day. Um, you can touch on what happens when, uh, you know, an employee wakes up and one of their kids is sick or maybe they're not feeling well, um, what they need to do um, to make sure that, you know, someone is called in to work on their behalf, right? So whether that's um, if you have a list of replacements to call, whether that's um, maybe you are part of a... Um, an association where they actually send you uh, replacements for that day, um, whether you have a few people that know you can call to come and replace, whatever that system is, your, your staff needs to have that information. They need to know exactly what's expected of them. So being very clear on what's expected from your staff, from your employees, when they wake up in the morning and let's say their child has fever and they cannot send them to school, meaning they have to stay home themselves. Um, it's very important as an employer not to be disrespectful or get upset because these are things that happen to everyone, right? And it's one of the things that you have to, um, 
uh, anticipate as a business owner that you need to be uh, creative and you need to be a quick thinker and a problem solver. These are things that happen. It's nobody's fault. Um, but if you have systems in place, um, things don't have to get out of control. Um, things can still move smoothly in your day without anyone feeling, you know, stress or anxiety. So a few things that your staff um, may have to do, and these are just examples, but I'm just trying to give you ideas is, um, maybe they can call or text the head educator, head educator in your, in your uh, daycare center, if you have one and let her know that they will be sick. Um, and maybe it's one of the responsibilities of your head educator to find a replacement that day. Maybe you have a list of a few people, uh, that are available, uh, to replace last minute, right? So your staff, it's very important that your staff knows about the phone numbers, has access to them, um, and, and I can actually contact them to replace them that day. Now, if you don't want your staff to be calling everyone um, or texting people in the morning, that's fine as well. Just have a system in place that they know that if something happens in the morning before they have to show up to work, what do they need to do? Who do they have to call? Are they in charge of calling the head educator? Do they have to call the director of the center? Uh, maybe they have to call uh, the replacement themselves. So just make sure that they know exactly who, uh, who they have to call when they know they will be absent that day. So what happens when one of your employees needs a day off for a personal reason, right? They're not physically sick, nothing's wrong with them, but you know that um, in two weeks time, they have an appointment that they cannot miss. Maybe their child is an appointment. Maybe they want a day off for one of their kids' graduations. Whatever the case is, they know in advance that they will need a day off. Well, that's very, very um, easily taken care of. Um, it doesn't have to be a stressful event. It doesn't have to be anything that gets out of control. Um, and I want to show you exactly what I do in my center to um, make this as smooth as possible. So um, I have a personal day request form that is available to my educators. It's in their educators binders in their classroom. So they all have access to it. And when they know that they need a day off for a specific reason, all they need to do is fill it out. And I have questions that they need to ask. And then there's a section at the bottom that's reserved for management, whether I approve the day or I don't with a signature. Um, and then I just give it back to them. They see it, they sign it, and then I put it in their file. Very simple, very easy. It gives me time to plan ahead so I could call in a replacement for that day. And it gives them the day off to do whatever they need to do. Um, so what do you put on the request form? If you don't have one already, or maybe you do and you just want to update it or make it look nicer, I've actually created a really nice template that you could download and edit according to your likings. So you could actually put in your information, your logo, um, your center's name and all that fun stuff. So obviously you have the name uh, and information of the daycare. Uh, the sheet is clearly labeled so everyone knows exactly what it's for. So after that, I have the date, like today's date, the date that the employee has filled this paper out. Um, I have obviously their name and then I have a section where they need to write in what day or days they will need off. And I do ask for 10 days notice in advance so I could get organized for, uh, you know, calling in the, the replacement and all that stuff. Now that could be different for you. Um, in the form that I've prepared, you could actually just edit that part out. But for me, I think 10 days is more than enough. Um, and then I add a section of commentary. So whether they want to tell me if it's a doctor's appointment or a graduation party, or they just need a day just to disconnect, they can write it down. Now, if they don't write it down, it's not a big deal. Like I don't necessarily need to know where they're going. And, uh, and it also depends on your relationship with your staff, but I just have that section in there. Um, and in the bottom, I have a section that is reserved only for the management and it's very basic. It's very, very basic. This just basically says approved with a check mark box or not approved with another check mark box and commentary. So I could just say, you know, enjoy your day or I, you're all set, you're good to go. Replacement has been found, have fun. Um, and then my signature and the date. It's very simple, very easy. I give them a copy, um, they sign it, and that's it, I make a copy for them, and then I keep one in their file. Um, this has made my life so much easier. Um, it makes my staff feel like they don't need to call in sick um, because they knew they had an event that day, but they just didn't feel like, you know, it was a good reason to take off. Right. So I don't want the last thing you want to make your staff feel is that they need to show up every single day, no matter what, 
24 seven all through the year. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. You're just setting yourself up for, you know, no shows and people just calling in the morning and just telling you they're not gonna show up. And you know, then you get stressed out and anxious and you have to do all that work. So as a business owner, it's so important to be prepared with your policies. It's very crucial that um, staff that comes into your daycare to work knows exactly what is expected of them and what are the uh, actions that are going to be taken if your rules are not respected. Things happen, kids get sick, staff get sick, it's a part of the game, there's no reason to waste your time just stressing or being anxious about it. Um, but for certain situations such as calling in sick all the time, not showing up, um, asking for days off repeatedly. Um, it's very important that you have systems in place in your policy booklet that lets your staff know that, um, you know, if this and this happens, I as the employer have the right to do the following. So whether that's having a meeting with them, whether that's asking for, um, asking for a medical note, whether that's giving them a a write-up, a written notice, whatever the case is, you need to be clear uh, to prevent problems in your center. So there you have it, how to deal with employees needing the day off and how you as an employer can make sure you have systems in place to um, make your life easier and allow things to run smoothly in your daycare business. So if you want more free trainings, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And of course, go to the website www.profitabledaycare.com and subscribe to the newsletter. Bye guys.